reach for my hand I'll soar away into the dawn Oh, I wish I could stay Here and cherish hearts In peaceful days I fear the edge of dawn Knowing time betrays Faint lights pass through colored glass in this beloved place Silver shines The world dines A smile on each face As joy surrounds Come for the bounds And I can feel them breaking free For just this moment lost in time I am finally me Yet still I hide Behind this mask That I have All right. I assume you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers' Academy, correct? To start, please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the Academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the Monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once Why, you course. have finished, come and speak with me. May I ask a favor of you? Okay. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust-up with the bandits. Can't entrust students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. All right. Reception Hall. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Hogwarts from Harry Potter. Like their little mess hall. Hi. I can't talk to these people. Okay. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. Oh, so now she's I never mad. properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressfalk. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Me? Well, some think I'm a bit distant. Arrogant, even. But there's little to be done. One day, I must rise to become Adrestia's next emperor. What else? 
Well, it seems to me that we may have similar personalities. This guy looks Hubert like a is the heir of Monty Vestra. He has served me since I was a child. You may think his blood runs a bit cold, but <laughs> actually that's rather accurate. Still, if you can get past that, you'll see he's quite astute and reasonable. I'm sure he is. For some reason, he thinks of me as a bitter rival and is always trying to challenge me. It's terribly irritating. His house is that of Duke Iron, which produces Adrestia's prime ministers. That family is... perhaps too pleased with its own status. Hubert is the heir of Marquis Vestra. He you may think his blood runs a bit cold. I'm just like re looking at their abilities. He's remarkably at intelligent, but he only wishes to apply himself to tasks covers. that particularly interest him oh, wow. and nothing else. He's also fond of, well, napping. If he had any work ethic or sense of duty to speak of, I suppose he would be destined to become an official of the Empire. He's the second son of Count Burgley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Okay. She's Count Varley's only daughter. I suppose you could say she's a bit eccentric, but she seems like a gentle soul. I believe she shut herself away in her quarters and doesn't care to leave, but don't worry. I'll make sure she finds her way to class. Dorothea. Few commoners have joined the Black Eagle House, but Dorothea is an exception. She's a songstress from a famous opera company in the Empire. I'm not entirely sure what brought her to the Officers Academy. These allies recover up to 10%. Okay. That's very useful. To the west of Fodlan is an archipelago called Bridget. Petra is the granddaughter of their king. Bridget is a vassal state of the Empire, which is how she came to be enrolled here. She's incredibly smart and studious. Grants plus 20 crit when foe's HP is less than 50%. That's pretty useful. So you've accepted it. I never. I am the. I wonder if. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Greetings. You must be the new professor. As for me, my job is to stand here at this glorious entrance <laughs> and leisurely watch over the comings and goings of everyone. Make folks smile, you know? Yeah, uh, and by that, I mean to vigilantly guard this entrance with my very life. No levity whatsoever. As of now, nothing to report. Hey, good job, man. Yes. Oh, there's Claude. Well, well, scored a teaching gig here, did you? Talk about a great first impression. I guess that means I'd better introduce myself properly. I'm Claude Von Regan. I'm from the ruling house of the Lester Alliance, but don't worry too much about all that madness. I'm guessing you don't know which class you'll be teaching yet, do you? I bet you'd like ours. We're not as difficult as the other two. Have you met the folks from the Golden Deer House yet? Care to know more about anyone? All right. <laughs> Piqued your interest, have I? As luck would have it, I'm pretty curious about you as well. But what's life without a bit of mystery? Let's just spend the next year or so learning about each other little by little. 
Old funds exchange game. Okay, so I'm assuming all of these lords have the same ability. He's the heir of Gloucester territory. If you haven't already picked up on it, he's a bit arrogant and fancies himself a ladies' man. That said, deep down, he's really devoted and honest. Though I wouldn't mind never hearing him talk about his noble obligations ever again. And it deals two extra damage while in formation with a battalion. Battalion is definitely a new term for me. He comes from a merchant family, but his parents died in an accident. Seems like he's had a rough life. Despite all that, he's just about the most cheerful guy you'll ever meet. His passions are training, eating, and... Actually, that's about it. Yes, to recover up to 10% of max HP at the start of each turn. Trigger percentage equals luck stat. Ooh. Strengths are axes, fists, and it looks like it can be a knight. He's the second son of a merchant family. Since his brother will inherit the business, he's training to become a knight. If you ask me, it doesn't seem like he truly wants to be a knight. He's probably just doing it to please his parents. And hit plus 20. Lysithia is the daughter of Count Ordelia and is probably the youngest student here. But watch out, she gets angry if you treat her like a child. As for me, I do it on purpose. You have to make your own fun in this place, you know? Marianne is Margrave Edmund's daughter, and that's pretty much all I know about her. She doesn't interact much with other students, so I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of folks here have never even heard her speak. Her covers up to 20% of max HP start of each turn when adjacent to a cavalry or flying ally. Alright. Hilda is the only daughter of Duke Goneril. It seems her father and brother coddle her quite a bit. If you look up Lazy in the dictionary, her picture won't be there because she never got around to submitting it. Not too unusual for a noble, I guess. Decent male allies deal three extra damage during combat. Leone enrolled because she wants to be a mercenary. I think she said that her father is a hunter. She's pretty blunt and as stingy as they come. A habitual saver, too. I think she's hoping to repay her village for helping to send her here. A male ally is adjacent. Unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage. Okay, so Hilda and Leone. Okay. What do you think? So you're the skilled mercenary who saved Claude, are you? Oh, you are? It's such an honor to meet you. Ignaz Victor. My parents are Alliance merchants. And I am Lysithia von Ordelia. Please do not forget it. Sure thing. What do you think? Hey, are you that mercenary? <laughs> Everyone's been talking about you. I'm Hilda Valentine Goneril, and her name is... <laughs> Marianne von Edmund. Are you joining the Knights of Saros or something? Well, I look forward to seeing more of you. Talk to these people? No. Huh? Are you someone's guest? The dining hall's that way, if that's what you're looking for. No, Raphael. That's Captain Gerald's kid. Hi, I'm Leone Pinelli, Captain Gerald's first and greatest apprentice. I'm sure he's told you about me. Nice to meet you. Definitely I'm Raphael not. Kirsten. Who are you again? Hey. The Golden Deer House is for students of the Leicester Alliance. Our house leader is heir to the Alliance's leadership, House Regan. We have plenty of other prominent nobles as well. Dimitri. Hello. 
Please accept my apologies for the other day. You came to our aid, yet I hadn't even the courtesy to properly introduce myself. I am Dimitri Alexandra Blathed, Crown Prince of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Of course, at the Academy, I am simply a student. And I've heard word that you are to become a professor here. Delightful news. I still have much to learn, but I'm confident I could benefit greatly from your guidance. In any case, welcome to the monastery. I hear you're investigating the different houses here. Did any of the Blue Lions catch your attention? Me? Oh, um... Please forgive me. It's difficult to open up on the spot, don't you think? I'm afraid my story has not been a pleasant one. I do hope that doesn't color your view of me, but I understand if that can't be helped. Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been loyally working in my service for the past four years. He's rather taciturn, but once you get to know him, you'll see he's a kind and good-natured young man. Unit takes no action except wait grants defense plus four for one turn. So, he'd probably make a really good armor knight. Okay, how are his bases? Dudu was born in Dusker, and has been- He's rather- <laughs> I think he'd make a good armor knight. Felix is the heir to House Fraldarius. He has a bit of a sharp tongue, but don't let that fool you. Deep down, he's a good guy. He gravitates toward people who are skilled. Perhaps you would enjoy a friendly competition with him sometime. He deals five extra damage when no battalion is assigned or when battalion endurance is zero. Okay. He's the adoptive son of Lord Lenato of Castle Gaspar, but I hear he was born a commoner. He has an extremely earnest personality, so I'm certain he will approach your lectures with great enthusiasm. Sylvain is the heir to House Gautier. He is a capable person who highly values his friends. That said, well, he's always been a bit of a... <clears throat> Skirt chaser, so to speak. <laughs> Pardon my bluntness. I speak with him about it often, but it doesn't seem to help. <laughs> the female... <laughs> the female allies adjacent unit deals two extra damage and takes two less damage. Okay. I hear she was born to Imperial nobility, but a twist of fate brought her to the kingdom. She may seem carefree on the surface, but she's actually a kind soul who pays careful attention to everyone around her. Live to serve. That's actually an ability from... What was it? Fire Emblem... Conquest? Yeah, I want to say it was Conquest. Um, with the butler, his ability was live to serve. When healing an ally with white magic, the unit recovers the same amount of HP. Yeah, I remember him being ridiculously tanky just for the fact that he could heal both himself and an ally who was injured, so he could frontline pretty well. Well, not frontline, but kind of hang around towards the front of the fight. I actually really like the... The battle healers in a uh, conquest being able to like throw knives yeah it definitely was conquest one with hoshino and nor um being able to throw daggers and also heal was nice annette annette is baron dominic's niece she is a talented student who scored extremely high marks at the royal school of sorcery she's cheerful and hard-working brilliant really Though, she can be a bit oblivious at times. I hear she caused an explosion in the kitchen last night. Use Rally to grant Strength plus 4 to an ally. Very right, simple, straightforward. Ingrid is Count Galatea's daughter. She is also a childhood friend of Felix, Sylvain, and myself. She is diligent, industrious, and principled. In truth, she is more knightly than most knights you will ever meet. 
Lady Knight grants Might plus 3 and Hit plus 5 with Gambits. Don't know what Gambits are, but I'm a, a feeling I'll find out. I appreciate your effort. Looks like that's quest completed. You first pick. Oh, well, no, I'm pick and so. I will take charge of the remaining two houses. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we will pick up. Um. Yeah, let's get Claude. So you have chosen the Golden Deer, led by Claude, correct? Yep. Your heart has made its choice, then. All I ask is that you guide these open minds with virtue, care, and sincerity. They are all promising youths who bear the weight of Fodlin's future upon their shoulders. I hope you appreciate what an honor it is to lead them. Brother? Oh, I am so sincerely sorry. I did not mean to interrupt. I am in the middle of something, Flame. Is it urgent? No, no, it's nothing. More importantly, who is this? This is our newest professor at the Academy. Oh, let me see if I can fix this uh, audio real quick. Alright, that's better. Oh my! A new addition to the Officer's Academy! I am so very pleased to meet you, Professor. I am Sedith's little sister, Flame. I am so happy to make your acquaintance. Let us focus on the topic at hand. There is something you should be aware of. In a few days' time, there will be a mock battle between the three houses, intended to gauge the current progress of the students. We will be using this battle as an opportunity to ascertain your own abilities as well. Please do not disappoint the Archbishop. That is all. Don't. 